we've got season two, which involves the KGB um, and the Russians, which is more of our sort of, um, it's like our La Carre season, isn't it? You know, yeah. they have, um, they just have like different Cold War flavors. Yeah. Comes e e each, around, each yeah. book. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when we start off with, uh, you know, going into season two of Slow Horses, um, you know, of course, you did um, season one and season two back to back. So um, how did, you know, would you say is really uh, how Slow Horses kind of you know, really progresses or like the scope of it kind of really increases from season one to season two? Well, for us to make, it was very satisfying because we went, we got to make two books at the same, you know, one after the other. Uh, and then you had this they they perfected some of the differences so like the, it's summer in season two and it's winter in season one and we had a lot of fun with that and it, it was the story is great and also just the chance to keep playing these characters in these extraordinary relationships and all the different levels of interchange and um new characters coming in getting out of all getting out of but the barbican for a bit and it was a lovely contrast and to know that when season 1 was shown that we had season 2 in our back pocket was very exciting for us and the fact that season 1 was a success that more pleasure was coming mm. the audience's way you know the first one sort of starts it's sort of a little more explosive um no pun intended. Um, it, it and it's it's like the if you want it's like the Jason Bourne episode or season. You know, it starts with that that big, uh, that huge big sort of scene at the at, at the airport, and then we've got season two, which involves the KGB. Um, and the Russians, which is more of our sort of, um, it's like our La Carre season, isn't it? You know, yeah. they have, um, they just have like different Cold War flavors. Yeah, comes e e each, around, but each yeah. book. Yeah. yeah. Well, and um, you know, even though doing season one and season two back to back, um, um, did, did how did each one you know kind of feel different uh, for each of you? You know, going into because you said it kind of. You know, the season two really kicks off with almost like a Jason Warren kind of uh, feel to it. So, how did uh, you know, what was the kind of like the big thematic or uh, you know, just major difference from between each season? You know, from your perspective. Well, Jackson certainly is more in. I mean, he's more in the field in season two. It 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 you know with the with this initial uh, it begins with this the death of an of an old. Um, sort of uh, Cold War era spy who was a colleague um, and a fellow, you know, a Joe who was out there who Jackson knew and that that motivates him. His suspicion in that death then gets him out there and motivates him to go out into the field and become really just like a, 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 we see a glimmer of what perhaps ja Jackson Lamb was like in the old days, you know. Um also, uh, you know, your the season one, you are really laying all the your the what they call it, laying cable. It you're putting, you're setting the world up and getting the audience sort of familiar with the with the with the people with the yeah. characters in the world, yeah, yeah. and um, dynamically, it's very different because you had two. We we have a director for. We had James Hawes for the first six, and then you're coming in, even though they 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 happened uh, one followed very quickly to the other. You've got a different energy with Jeremy Lovering, yeah. who then directed the next six. So um, um, there's a real uh, you yeah you really do you feel the gear shift, don't yeah. you? Yeah, and. Um also, the chance to show the audience a bit more about your characters in season two. And, you know, we learn more about Jackson's past. We learn more about Catherine's abilities or, you know, who she is, which I really found very satisfying. Yeah. 
And that continues through the, the next few seasons as well. <laughs> 